of the Oni of Ife, Adeyeye Ogunusi Ojoja II, has appealed to supporters of the main opposition parties, the People's Democratic Party and the Labour Party to sheath their swords ahead of the inauguration day. The monarch urged the various party supporters to forget about the past and work with the president-elect, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, stating that regardless of their candidate of choice, all hands must be on deck to put Nigeria in the right path to greatness because the elections are over. Well, the only made the comment while hosting a high delegation sent by Kenyan President William Ruto in Lagos. Dr. Bati, before I uh, take my reactions, I would love your comment on the story because, I mean, you know, only recently also uh, the uh, Kenyan president um, as well endorsed uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I guess this is uh, the result of that visit. But a lot of uh, Twitter users have, you know, I don't know if to use the word condemn his um, comment because obviously the petitions are on the way, uh, very expensive petitions. And I mean, how do you say the elections are over? You should just forget about the petitions. I mean, that's some of the comments that I've gotten, but I'll take some reactions. I speak. The president of Neo FIFA is young, he's very modern in his approach. He's also very political and he's been engaging in a lot of diplomacy either with Africans in diaspora or with other African countries. And so it is not surprising that the president of Kenya will send a delegation uh, to come and meet with them. So that's, you know, another dimension of, you know, uh, traditional rulers taking a modern approach. There are some other traditional rulers who are, you know, uh, of the same age extraction with him who are better known for wearing uh, designer clothes, <laughs> dancing at uh, birthday parties <laughs> and all that. But he has taken a higher ground. So at that level, I can say, you know, what he's been doing with diplomacy, using the traditional throne as a tool of modern diplomacy is commendable. The second issue, which is of interest to you, is the political comment that he made, appealing to people uh, to sheet their source. Well, it's just an opinion. Even if you are the traditional ruler, whether you are the only of Ife, the Sultan of Sokoto, you are the father of all within the community. You can express your opinion. You can advise people. You can say, you know, what you want to say. It doesn't mean that it is binding on people. But what he has said is appealing for unity. He say, look, let us support Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Chinumbu now that he's the uh, president-elect. That's what he is supposed to say as a traditional ruler, as a father of uh, many. He's not supposed to go and say, oh, go and fight, go and cause problems. Uh, that would be a wrong thing. So he said the right thing there. Uh, what he has said is politically correct. So it is up to the people who also have their own right to go to the uh, tribunal, to go there. So even if he tells them, oh, well, shit your swords and all that, it's immaterial. There is a process that is already in place. The Labour Party is there, the APM is there, the PDP is there, the court has started sitting, that process will continue. Mm. But what he has said is what he, he will say, what he must say mm. as a traditional ruler. But other people may well say, oh, what is uh, the king saying? Okay, do they expect uh, the honor of if a stool to tell people to go and fight? Yeah. No, that would not be statesmanly. All right, I'll read this tweet from Professor who wrote, Oni of Ife once encouraged Nigerian youths to work together to achieve a new Nigeria. He charged the youth to get involved in politics and majority aligned with Peter Obi. Today, uh, their ancient king wants the same youth to embrace Bola Tinubu and old order. Kabye is you. Well, D wrote, kings shouldn't be partisan. Why don't you advise everyone to follow due process rather than asking them to forget? Do you even know how much people spent for this? Why are you guys like this? People might get more angry with such a post. We need a country for all, not a few. Ayo. All right, yes, um, and I'm glad that Dr. Bati said the foundation in terms of the fact that he's made, a, he's made a politically correct statement. He's spoken as a leader, as a father, as he ought to. However, the other side of it is the aspect where he talks about sheathing your swords mm. and forgetting the past. 
The challenge that we have sometimes in terms of our political architecture is the fact that we often give this advice to people, young people, older people, forget about the past. Recall just before the elections, we had um, Governor Babajide Osomolu say when he was responding to a question with regards to NSARS that, oh, forget about that, let's move forward. What does moving forward mean? Moving forward, does it mean accepting the injustice as some people have judged the previous elections to be? What, we, what should be said, actually, that should be a more politically correct statement is that the matter is in court. We hope that justice will be served. Correct. And we're looking on the judiciary to ensure that this Correct. happens. And so that's what we're looking forward mm -hmm. to because he's young. He's a symbol of hope for many young people young in people, Nigeria. Yeah. And he should, he should be seen as being fair across board and wanting the best of the nation such that we do not promote what people feel as being aggrieved. And we don't downplay the role of the rule of law, especially if people are seeking redress in court. Yeah, well, you know, in the meantime, the former minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Godzilla Pabu, who has just been nominated as president of the Senate by the All Progressives Congress, paid a courtesy visit to the Oni of Ife over the weekend, seeking royal blessings for his Senate presidential bid. Photos of the visit have made the rounds on social media. Rufai, I mean, this is what everyone is saying, that he is, uh, you know, gearing towards the uh, APC. He is part of the APC, and that's why he made the statement. We can see here that he's endorsing Akmabio uh, no. over the weekend. Yes, that's the picture. No, it's not, it's not, endorsement. not, not an endorsement, but yeah. he's, he's there not, together. With him. I mean, royal fathers like that, anybody across any broad spectrum can go visit them, especially when Akmabio is seeking you know, Paul, uh, seeking a position like the president of the Senate. And what Akpabio just went to do is what we call retail politics. Retail politics is what we also call karimism in Yoruba land. You know, that's what I say. So I should be seen. Uh, the visit is to be able to show a posture that I am in consonance with the people of the Southwest because they only represent a very important figure mm. in the Southwest. Mm. Hence, he's doing it. And all politicians do it. Even during yeah. the election period, every politician did do it. And it is for the only just to accept everybody. You know, he's the king of all. He will accept them, give them his royal blessing. But it doesn't mean that he's endorsing them. But coming back, you know, to what was said before as regards his speech, in building a country, you know, people must also understand that when people are hurt, it is not just to say, let it go that will cure the hurts. It is when people see that justice has been done. And you know what justice does? Justice erases the tendency to be able to repeat that same action. The reason why Nigeria is the way it is today is because justice has not been meted out in the past and those actions are repeated. And people that maltreat others, they say hey, in the end we'll beg them and they will move on. But no, you see I'm a big fan of you too. And there was a, one of you two songs that he was singing, and Bono was singing, I love Bono so much. And Bono says, you're breaking my heart, but you think every heart mends. And that's the mistake we make in this part of the world. We think every heart will mend when you do the injustice. But you go ahead, you break people's hearts, you know, the hearts will mend. But it doesn't happen just like that. And that's why we call injustice, all right? What would you say to be able to calm Jennifer down that only her offense was that she went out to vote and she was guarding the eyes with a right. knife? What would you say, people that were brutalized in other parts of the country and Lagos, what would you say? And what would you say for people that are seeing different results in Obiakbo, that they know what they voted but see what's happening on IRF? Mm. So justice will be ensuring that the law takes its course and Nigerians are watching. But as a father of all, yes, he will call for unity. He'll call for peace. He'll call for togetherness. Mm -hmm. But it is also has to be said that justice needs to be done. And people are watching. In the end, whatever the court rules, we'll have to accept because that's the apex court. But we need to build our country. Yeah. And we can only do that where peace and justice shall reign. Absolutely.